What is going on guys? Angler FG here. Here on the Georgia Florida state line, we just had a huge cold front move through. Temperatures were in the 80s, but now they're dropping down all the way into the 40s and the water temperatures are plummeting. So any angler worth his salt knows exactly what you're supposed to do then. Tie on a seven inch top water rat lure. Oh gosh, we're on one, on the rat. Oh, there we go. Yes, big old hog. In all seriousness though, I've always wanted to use some of these big crazy lures and it just, you know, I pulled the trigger, ordered one on Amazon. When I did that, water temps were in the low 70s, prime topwater territory, it was fall, the fish were chasing bait hard, and as soon as the lure came in the mail, Mother Nature decided to go out and slap me in the face. Despite the fact that Mother Nature is out to stop us from catching a fish on this awesome lure, there is some good news, and you're probably seeing that in some B-roll I'm gonna run right now. The action on this lure is awesome. I mean, it just wakes on the top of the water. It pushes a ton of water. It wiggles its little butt back and forth. Its tail wiggles around. It looks just like a rat swimming through the water. We do have about four or five different ponds that we can visit today, all of which have those aggressive southern bass in them. So despite these cold temperatures, I think if we really grind it out, we can crank a few fish out today. Let's go get on the water and make it happen. All right, so there's a pretty juicy brush pile right here, right in front of me. We're gonna drag this rat over there a couple of times and see if we got any takers. And if nobody's home at this pond, we're gonna head to pond number two. There usually is a couple of bass sitting on this brush pile right here. The question is, is you know, are they gonna hit this rat when it's 45 degrees and raining? And I, I will tell you what, I, I am super impressed with the action of this bait. I actually got a lot of confidence in it. I just don't know if the weather is going to support a seven inch long top water bait today. We just had a huge cold front move through. The weather dropped down to, you know, 30s and the 40s at night, and it, the highs have been in the 50s. There is a couple of ponds, which are a little bit bigger than this one, which might have cooled off slower. And like I said, we got a lot of ponds we can visit today. Watch out, geese. I'll get out of my fishing line, dudes. We're here at pond number two. Super, super shallow grass pond, and it is heavily pressured. These fish are sketchy, but I have had some luck in top water with this pond. <clears throat> All right, guys, pond number two is a bust, so we're gonna go head over to pond number three. We got one blow up, which is making me feel great, but kind of just sucked it under. It really was a short strike. I think these fish are just not really keyed in on top water bite. It may take some real grinding to get something to eat this rat right here, but we're gonna keep at it, try to get some content for you guys. Let's go. All right guys, we're here at pond number three and unfortunately the sun's starting to come out, which is just another thing going against us with this lure, which we don't need today. But there are definitely fish in this pond. I've caught fish out of this pond, top water. So there is a chance we can get struck. There's actually some pretty heavy structure just down a little ways we're gonna walk to and fish. Oh gosh, we're on one, on the rat. Fish on the rat, he's not even that big. <laughs> Get on up here, buddy. Oh gosh, yeah, just like a little pound and a halfer. All right, there we go. Look at that guys, nice little pound and a half fish on the rat. Of course, in true fashion, we're fishing a treble hook today and did not bring our pliers with us. You know, not a big guy at all, but man, it's on that rat. I'm so stoked about that. He is dark, 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 almost no lateral line whatsoever. Pretty fish, let's get him back. See you later, buddy. All right, let's get back out there, see if we can uh, scoop up another one. You know what's funny about catching that fish here is we've uh, fished two ponds and one of them is in a residential neighborhood and the other one is near a softball field and we've been fishing a rat. Well, the pond I'm at, you know, I'm not going to say where it's at, but the pond I'm at has actually a food preparation facility behind it, um, you know, kind of like a cafeteria. So a little bit sketch that so quickly the rat got ate in the pond next to the cafeteria. Oh God, we got another one. They're stacked up. They're stacked up. That's a better fish too. That's a better fish. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Big old hog. All right, so there we go. Solid. I mean, this has got to be like a three pound fish on the rat. He completely choked that thing. Oh man, I'm stoked. We're going to get right back in there. This fish was exactly where that other fish was. <laughs> this rat lure, you think it's BS, but man, I'm a believer. I'm a believer in the rat now. All right, there we go. Got that rat out of his mouth. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. There you go, swimming off. See you later. All right, let me show you something real quick. I just gotta show you guys one thing. So see right here, this grass out in front of me? Right there is where I caught those two fish. Now if I turn around 180 degrees from this spot, way off in the distance, those are dumpsters. Those are the dumpsters for a cafeteria. Now tell me this in the comments. Is it a coincidence that the straight line from the dumpsters of the cafeteria to the closest source of fresh water is where the fish ate that rat? I don't think it's the first time they've seen it. I don't think it's a coincidence. Let me know down in the comments what you think. So we're not getting any more bites around here. So I think we're about to start walking around this pond and just, you know, checking some of the other spots out. We are coming up on a big piece of structure. It's just kind of like a walkway bridge, like a walking path. And it's got a pretty big area of water that it covers. And I've had some luck in the past there. And I think there just might be a monster lurking there. I mean, we had that three, three and a half pounder he was super solid fish, but I know there's a bigger fish in this pond and this rat's a pretty big profile. So I'm hoping to pull a big strike when we get up by this bridge. All right, so I think we're about to call it on pond number three. Now pond number four is right behind me and I don't feel as good about pond four as I did coming into this one, but we're gonna head over there and give it a shot anyways. We're getting into the thick of it yet again, out here, 45 degree weather. It's fishing a rat lure in a cold front for you guys catching fish, walking through the freaking woods in my nice boots. Give your boy some love. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Hit that bell notification too while you're at it. Pond number four was a bust. We're gonna walk back to the truck, kind of fish our way back. And when we get back to the truck, we're gonna head back to pond number one because that is a really, really, really good pond. We're gonna give this rat a couple more throws at pond number one, maybe even put the kayak in. out here at the first pond we were at but now we got the kayak in the water there's a tree over here that has just a ton of overhangs and it's usually loaded with bass let's toss this rat up in there and see what we can do seeing the way those uh fish reacted to it earlier i think this guy's gonna get slammed and that's if i can cast them right here these fish are really in these pockets and they're tied on the structure but i feel like if i can get the right cast he's gonna get walloped now i'm thinking in this area with all these overhanging trees that these bass might be adjusted to maybe eating things that fall out of the trees so maybe this little terrestrial presentation you know slapping down right by the tree branches could uh trigger a really aggressive strike i'm thinking maybe not though this pond could be a little too cold for any top water action and then you would have thought that about the other one I and mean, i guess the other pond was bigger but it's not necessarily any deeper all right, so far nothing. We've uh, fished about half of the pond, which is the back half with the overhanging trees and where I really thought this bait would shine. But as of right now, not even a sniff, which is understandable. It is a huge topwater presentation immediately after the like first real cold front of the winter. Oh gosh, we just got a hit. So that's gonna wrap it up for this rat lure. And I gotta tell you, I'm super impressed by it. The action on this thing is amazing. And today was really a terrible top water day. We still got two blow ups and we caught those two fish. One of them was a good quality fish. Now I have not a doubt in my mind that on the right day when the top water bite was on, this thing would get just smacked left and right. So we're gonna keep it on the tackle box, maybe seeing some future content with it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Really helps the channel out and keeps me motivated to keep pumping this content out. You know, I work full time on top of doing this and I appreciate everybody that's clicked on the video. If you're watching to the end, I especially appreciate you and I'll see you guys next time out on the water.